friends welcome back so today I'm going to review the beautiful dual lens dash cam for my car this has been sold by uh, uh, UWorld and uh, the packing looks pretty much neat and they mentioned the features all over here and also um, mentioned like uh, the specifications The box looks neat. Wow, here comes the mirror as well as dash cam. And, uh, it looks neat with all the options over here and uh, the stuff here and here is the dash cam lens and uh, the dash cam lens can be rotated in any uh, angle so it's good for us uh, this one is the USB or power cable and this one is for the rear view camera and this one is for the memory card so it supports uh, uh, till 32 GB and uh, here is your uh, reset option the speaker as well as mic the bottom uh, we can see uh, different buttons this one is the ok button and this one is for the changing modes like uh, from camera to video etc and uh, this one is uh, manual switch on and off and these two are uh, buttons to select different options so overall i feel like uh, it's uh, sleek, slim as well as sleek let's go ahead with the other things so what else we have Okay, so we have the rear view camera along with a uh, good length of wire. Okay, as well as, uh, here comes the um, power cord with the uh, cigarette lighter attached. Apart from that, uh, so we have uh, double sided tape as well as uh, two screws to fix the rear view camera. And these two bands, which is uh, really, really needed, expect in, in the existing uh, rear view mirror. So uh, it's it's really easy. Just uh, there is no need to alter the interior of the car or anything. So we just need to put the band in this way and uh, just put it there. So that uh, just imagine this is your uh, my, my hand is the uh, rear view uh, uh, rear view mirror. So that it will just uh, fix like in this way. So it's really easy to fix this and uh, uh, doesn't need uh, any professional help apart from fixing the rear view camera manual so the manual looks pretty much neat so they have mentioned almost all the details in the manual the back one is in Chinese and this one is in English and uh, they have given like uh, different parts let's go ahead and uh, switch on the dash cam so I want to test the dash cam, dash cam here before fix it, fixing it in the car so let me go ahead and power it with uh, another cable so that I can uh, navigate and check the different options available. So stay here. Okay, so I just um, powered it on using my external cable um, in my house. So I can, uh, you can see the dash cam view here. So it's like uh, 170 degree uh, viewing angle. And apart from this, you can find the uh, fraud slot and displays and also the buttons over here and um, the mode button so the, the, by pressing this M button uh, we can uh, switch from uh, camera to pictures as well as we can uh, play back what on the files whatever we have so you can you can see here so I'm going to press the mode button here M button here and it will change into pictures option and now it will get into the playback menu Okay. and next uh, the good use of this M button is when you are going to press it doing a long press you'll get the menu options so now here's the menu options and uh, you will be using the two arrow mark buttons these two buttons here to navigate through this one so the first one is to uh, select the uh, resolution so I'm just going to press the OK button to get into the resolution so now I have selected a full HD and we have options like a HD 
so we can select it using the arrow, arrow keys i mean down arrow or uh, up arrow and uh, once it is done select ok to fix it and again next one will be the photo quality so uh, the photo um, click the ok button to select the different photo qualities here another one is a loop video whether you want to loop the video for every two minutes or you want to have a longer video but ultimately depends on your storage so select it wisely based on your storage so um, the motion detection i prefer keeping it on so that uh, in case of any uh, theft or uh, any uh, window break uh, it, will, uh, it, will, it will it will get activated so the next one is like a white balance then the contrast you guys know very well about that then the exposure then the boot video screen protection then video sound whether you need a video sound or uh, you just need a video it's up to you guys then the parking uh, parking monitoring so once you uh, park the car it will automatically monitor for any um, any activities and the g sensor which is a really really important one for me because uh, whenever there is an accident this g sensor is the one which is going to um, uh, hold the video without crashing it and then the auto power off whether you want to turn it on automatically or you're going to do it manually so it's better to turn it on and you can select the date as well as time and the language and of course uh, if you want to uh, have the watermark I mean the time watermark on your video you can select this option else it's not needed or if you want to format the SD card so the, uh, quite uh, these are the setting, uh, usual settings and uh, the last one is the restore, restore refactory setting so I feel like uh, it's going to be a good investment uh, let me go back to my car and I will show you like uh, how to fix the uh, rear view camera I'm going to fix this one um, under my uh, I mean above my license plate and I'm going to run it along and um, and connect this one and this red wire needs it's an important one where uh, this red wire will is for the power and uh, I'm going to connect this one to the reverse light so once I put the reverse gear uh, it will automatically turn on and uh, the other other cable the black cable i'm going to run it all the way to the front uh, and uh, put this pin in, in the dash cam let me show you how to, how to do this this is the old uh, rear view camera i'm going to change and i uh, just need to remove these two screws to take this off and then take the uh, plastic one also away and to do that uh, i need to uh, remove this mat so to remove this mat i need to um, unscrew all these uh, black color buttons and it's quite simple to remove these ones i just need to use the screwdriver to pull it off and uh, so like this so just use the screwdriver turn it and it will get the popped up and just pull it so that uh, it will come out of the um, uh, out of the uh, structure and uh, now i removed uh, all the plastic ones now i'm good to remove this one and don't uh, forget to uh, remove this one also it will be a little bit hard but just uh, use your uh, hand to pull this one it should be good to go yeah that's it so remove this one and uh, these are the screws i need to unscrew to uh, take off the plastic one so once you unscrew just uh, push the uh, screw in top and uh, you'll get the plastic uh, one up and now I removed the old um, uh, video one and uh, I'm going to use the same old uh, uh, holes for the wire and I'm going to run it all the way down uh, this is the way I will get the wire into the uh, back so here is the uh, uh, cam camera wire I'm going to uh, I'm just uh, inserting into the car trunk oh, it's it's going to be a little bit uh, simple for me because I already have the uh, holes and just uh, place the camera in the correct position and uh, so this is the connector I'm going to run it and I have already uh, run the 
a wire like this and I just uh, did it and this is the place where uh, it was a little bit difficult to find the actual um, um, her backup wire but uh, in my case I already found that it's a purple colored one so that is the positive terminal so I just uh, connected the red wire to the positive terminal so now whenever I put the uh, backup gear so it should turn and um, now I'm going to connect the uh, camera uh, uh, wire to this one so now the camera is officially connected so you can see it is connected and uh, here the um, it's also positively connected and now I'm, I need to uh, fix it back fix back the these ones and once it is done I need to run the wire from the trunk to the back seat and I just um, hidden all those wire in this place so it's pretty much simple you just need to pull the uh, rubber uh, one and uh, just uh, run it all the way to the front and uh, so here is the um, uh, camera wire and this one is the old uh, charger and I'm going to use the I'm going to fix the dash cam here so it's pretty much simple as I told earlier you just need to use the a rubber material to hold it on the actual inner rear view mirror so it's done it's pretty much simple just like a few minutes task and now I'm going to insert the SD card which is really important to store the videos and I have connected the charger as well now I'm going to connect the rear uh, camera wire so once it is done you can see the pop-up so in the right hand side uh, top corner you can see the um, rear video here and now once i put the reverse i mean the back of it, uh, it automatically uh, the uh, video will automatically change to the rear one and it's pretty much looks uh, good and i really feel like uh, it's worth spending like a 40 dollar uh, to save yourself uh, and also for claiming insurance or anything else in case of any accidents or anything so i really love this one and hope you guys uh, love the video as well and uh, please go ahead and buy it is in the description the link so enjoy guys